It's a beautiful day for remote learning, a beautiful day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a studently day in this beauty wood, a studently day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a student just like you. I've always wanted to teach in a classroom with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my student? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my student? Hi everyone, welcome back to Miss Nichols' Neighborhood. It's me, your teacher, Miss Nichol, and I'm here with my best remote teaching helper, my sister, Kaylee Nichol. Hi. Hi. We are excited because we are back yet again to learn another letter. Yay! Yeah. Our kindergartners are actually almost all done. We're doing a deeper review of each of the letters in the alphabet. You just have today's letter and one more. And you'll have deeply reviewed, meaning really reviewed, all the letters in the alphabet. That's really exciting. Well, are we ready to try to find out what the letter is? Ooh. Yeah, now I'll be honest. This was a tricky one for me to find clues, okay? So, listen very carefully here. Here I have a box. The ending sound and letter and box. Do you want to show them your clue, Kaylee? Or do you want me to show them? When I was telling Kaylee what letter we're working on, she helped find it. Here, here's the bookmark. Right there. Can you hold it up and show them? Nice and high. Yeah. Sometimes people need to get x-rays. I've never had one, so, except of my teeth, so I don't really have any x-ray pictures to show you, but make sure you're listening carefully for the ending sound in box, and the beginning sound and letter in x-ray. Hmm, hopefully that gives you some clues, okay? A final clue. It's usually the letter that pirates might use when marking treasure on the map. <laughs> this letter marks the spot. Hmm. Box. X-ray. Marks the spot. Hmm. Anyone think they know what letter it is? I want sound. The sound? Good. What letter is that, Kaylee? X. X, yes! If you were also thinking X, nice guess, okay? If you didn't quite guess it, that's okay. We have the whole lesson to review it, okay? As we're finding out, this is the letter X, uppercase or capital X, and lowercase X, and the letter X makes a X sound, like in the ending of the word box. Okay, and we'll find out many more words that have the x sound in it made by the letter X, okay? But let's go ahead and review what letter this is and what sound it makes, okay? Yeah. This letter is X. When I say letter is, you're going to say X. I say letter is, you say X. You ready to try it? Make sure you're trying your best to follow along at home, okay? Letter is I. X. Good. Letter is I. X. One more time. Letter is I. X. Yes. Okay. Letter is X. Now let's go ahead and review the sound. For, I'll be honest, this sound you can kind of might sound like one way if you don't say it correctly, so we're going to try our best with it, okay? Letter is X. Sound is x. Okay? Sound is x. Your mouth kind of goes down there. X. Okay? So let's practice that. I say sound is, and you go x. Okay? 
Sound is x. Good. Try it again. I say sound is, you say x. Good. Nice job, Kaylee. One more time. Sound is x. Good. Hopefully we're getting it in our head. Letter is x. Sound is x. Like at the end of box. Okay. Great job. Hopefully we'll continue to keep that fresh in our memory, okay? Now, let's go ahead and continue to warm up our listening ears, getting more and more used to hearing how letter X makes a X sound with our new poem over here. Ooh, okay. For this poem, we'll read it a few times. The first time I read it, you're sitting or however you're doing your remote learning, expected, listening. Yep, Kaylee's already getting it. Good job. We're getting into the routine. Okay. You're just listening. The second time I read it, then I'll need your help, okay? Okay. Okay. Here I go. Max. Max, you need an X-ray said kind Dr. Fox, I'll have to fix the bone you broke by falling on a box. <laughs> Dr. Fox said to Max, you need an x-ray now. I'll have to fix the foot you broke by falling over cow. Okay, our first time reading that poem. Hopefully we're starting to hear the x sound made by the letter X. I was doing my best there to say it nice and loud, okay? Let's go ahead. The second time I read it, whenever you hear the sound made by the letter X. I want you to go like this. Go X. Nice and high, Kaylee. X. Good job, Kaylee. Just like that. So whenever you hear the X sound, you go like this. Oh. Like you're making your own X. Like X marks the spot there. Okay? okay? I would always do this in my bowling class whenever I got a, it's yeah, a strike. It goes strike because it shows up as an X on the board. But we're going to use it here for our poem, okay? Whenever you hear the X sound, go like this. So you got a job to do at home. You ready to do it? Ooh. Are you going to do it nice and high to help show Kaylee? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Here we go. <laughs> oh, listen to the ears on. <sighs> Max. Oh, do, are we already starting to hear it? Yeah. What's that ending sound in the word max? What's that last sound? X. Very good, because it's made by the letter X. So, Kaylee, why didn't you do it? You gotta go X. Good. Hopefully, at home, you were able to catch that one. If not, we have more of the poem to go. Please try your best to follow along, okay? Max. There it is again, the same word. So what's that same ending sound in the word max? Good, so what do we do? Nice. You need an X. We'll kind of do it because we see the letter X kind of makes it sound. Okay. <laughs> Ray said kind. Dr. Fox. Yeah. Ooh, there. Mm. I think I heard it. Fox. What's the last sound in the word fox? <laughs> so what do we do? Go. <laughs> fox. Good. Let's <laughs> keep going. Pick it. I'll have to fix. Did you hear it? Yeah. Because I, I hear Kelly go, ooh, we heard it in the word fix. So mm -hmm. what do we do? X. The last sound in fix. X. The... the bone you broke by falling.
filling on a box. There it is again. What's the last sound in the word box? Good. Box. So what do you need to do? There you go, Kayla. Yes. Hopefully you're following along at home. Dr. Fox. Okay. Do we hear it? Fox. What's that last sound in fox? Good. So hope you went like this. Said to Max. There it is again. Max. What's that last sound in Max? Good. So like this. Yes. You need an X. Yeah, it's the letter making the sound. Ray, now. I'll have to fix. Did you hear it? Yeah. Fix. So what do we do? Right there. The ending sound and fix. That sound. Good. The foot you broke by falling over cow. And that was our poem again. I hope you had the chance to listen for that X sound made by the letter X and show it by going X. Okay? As we noticed in our poem, the words that had the X sound in it included Max, Fox, Fix, Box, Max again, fix again. All those words that have the x sound in it, did it have the x sound at the beginning or at the end of the words? I... Yeah, the ending of the words. Like Max, fix, box, box. Are words that are having the x sound in it, that sound, that letter is at the end of the word. Because it's pretty rare for the letter x to be making the x sound all by itself at the beginning of the word. Usually there's another letter in front of it. But we have more words that have the letter x making the x sound at the end of words, okay? Mm. Speaking of which, we're now going to get ready to do a sorting activity where we have to listen for the ending sound in words, okay? So give us a few seconds to get ready and be ready to listen for that ending sound, just like we listen for at the end of words. Okay. We'll be right back. Thanks for waiting. We are now back with our sorting activity where we're going to continue to work on hearing and recognizing that X sound made by the letter X, okay? Mm. As we were talking about and noticing in our poem, we found a lot of words in our poem had the X sound made by the letter X at the end of the word, the last sound. Yeah. So today, instead of sorting words on their first or beginning sound, we are going to sort words based on their last sound. Kind of a switch from previous weeks and lessons. That's okay. Challenge us a little bit. It's going to be good. So Kaylee's going to give us a word, and we're going to listen for if the word ends with the D sound made by the letter D. That's why I have a line here. There's letters and sounds, and then the sound in letter D, D, is the last sound. That's where we'll put words that end in the D sound, okay? Mm. Or we'll see if the word ends with the X sound made by the letter X. Once again, there's that line to kind of show there's other letters and sounds first, and then letter X making the X sound is at the very end, okay? So we're listening to find out if words end with the D sound or the X sound. Whoa. Feel ready for it? 
Yeah. Okay, we have six words. Go ahead and choose our first one, Kaylee. Nice job. This is a picture of the word box. Ba. Ooh, let's listen to the word box. Really stretch it out. Listen to the last ending sound. Box. Does box end with d or x? What's the last sound in the word box? Yes! If you are thinking and saying S at home as well, great <laughs> job. We flip it around and there we see it. B ox. There's the letter X making the X sound at the very end. So we'll put it over yeah. here. Yay! Nice job. Okay, let's do our next one. Awesome. Our next word. Our next picture of is of the word axe. Like he used an axe to cut down the tree. <laughs> so be thinking, does axe end with d or x? Stretch out the word axe. What's the last sound in the word axe? <laughs> yes! So it ends with the x sound. We flip it over, we see X. The X sound at the very end made by the letter X. So it goes here under box. Box, X, all ending with the X sound. Let's see what's next. Okay, our next picture is of the word red. Like Ooh. the color red. Listen very carefully. Does red end with d or x? Stretch out that word. Red. What's the last sound in that word? D. D. Yes, if you were thinking and saying that too, good job. <laughs> we flip it over. We see r e d. There's that last sound, d, made by the letter D. So we'll put it over here, under D. D. Yay! D. Nice job. We have three more words. We're halfway there. Okay. Our next picture is of the word lid. Put a lid on your container. Lid. Be thinking very carefully, does lid end with d or x? Stretch out that word if you need to. Lid. D. D. What's that last sound? D. 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 Nice job. We flip it over. There we have it. L. I. D. That ending d sound made by the letter d. So it goes over here. Under red d and the letter sound d. Letter d sound d. Nice job. We have two more to go. Oh boy. All right. Our next picture is of the word ox. I saw an ox outside. I don't know. Go ahead. Be thinking very carefully. Does ox end with d? Or x. Stretch out that word as you need to. Ox. What's the last sound? What's that ending sound? An ox. Yes. We flip it over. There we see ox. The ending x sound made by the letter x. Nice job. It's okay. good to double check. So ox goes right here. Like axe, box. Yay, yeah. hey, awesome. We have one more picture and word. Let's see what it is. One more. One more. Our last picture is of the word sled. He rode a sled down the snowy hill. Sled. Be thinking, does sled end with d or x? Stretch out that word as you need to. 
sled. Sled. What's that ending or final sound in the word sled? Duh. Duh. Nice job, Kaylee. Hopefully at home you're being able to start to hear that same thing too. When you flip it over, here we have sled. The final d sound made by the letter D. Yay! So we'll put sled over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and review what we found. We okay. said that sled, lid, Right. Red, all end with the d sound made by the letter D. D. Yay! Nice job. And then we found that ox, axe, wow. box, all end with the x sound made by the letter X right here. Yay! Yeah. Nice job sorting words based on their ending or last sound, okay? Give Kaylee and I a few moments to get ready. For now, we're going to go ahead and get ready to read words yeah. that have the letter X making the X sound in it. Yay! Yeah. We are now back ready to read some words that have the X sound in it made by the letter X. This will help you with your decodable this, read, this week, your book you're working on reading, okay? And just words in general you'll be coming across in your reading, okay? Let's go ahead, look up here at our first word. Let's go ahead and just say the letter names we see. So don't tell me the sounds yet, but the letter names you see. Yeah. What's the name of this letter? F. What's this letter? I. And what's this last letter? X. Now, we know we have letters F, I, X. Let's go back and do the sounds of each of those letters, okay? The letter F, as we've learned, makes what sound? F. Good. Please do your best to follow along at home and try to make those sounds, okay? Then the letter I makes what sound? I. And the letter X makes what sound? X. Let's go back. Review those sounds. Start to blend. Put them together to read the whole word. We have X. Put them together. X. X. Fix. Fix. Bear. What's the word? I say bear. Fix. Like, will you fix my car? Fix. Bear. Okay, hopefully we got some practice there trying to follow along with us here on this lesson video, okay? And if it was tricky this first time, that's okay. You can rewatch this lesson video, continue to practice in your learning packet materials, okay? But, fix. 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 Okay, let's go ahead, try the next word. Let's go ahead and just practice identifying or naming the letters we see. What's the name of this letter? Mm -hmm. F. What's this letter? O. And what's this letter we've learned? X. F O X. Let's go ahead and sound out the word. What's the first sound in this word made by the letter F? What's that sound? Nice job, Kaylee. And then what's the next sound? Uh. Aw. Good. So we have aw. And then what's the last sound in this, in this word? Good. So we have aw. Let's work to blend. Put those sounds together. Ox. Put them even more together. Ox. Fox. Fox. I say ba. What's the word? I say ba. Fox. Okay, like I saw a fox in the forest. Fox. Ba. Nice job. Hopefully we got a little more practice saying those sounds, blending them together to read the word. We had 
Ox. Ox. I say fox. I say b. Fox. Okay. Nice job. You'll even have more practice with reading words that have the x sound in it, made by the letter X in your learning packets and decodables you're reading. Okay. Give Kayla and I a few seconds for our last activity about the letter X where we practice writing it, okay? Thank you. We are now back with the last part of our lesson video. We are going to go ahead and practice writing uppercase or capital X and lowercase x, Ooh. okay? Up here we have my lines. I try to show the sky, the gate, and the grass if that helps you visualize or see the lines. And also the regular lines you'll be seeing, okay? Let's go ahead and start with our uppercase or capital X. You would use this if it's the first letter in a name, if it's the first letter in the first word of a sentence, okay? To make an uppercase or capital X, you're going to start at the sky and you're going to slant down towards the grass. Just slant straight down. Pick up your pencil, start the sky a little over, and then slant the other way back to the grass. And there you go. Two lines you've made, an uppercase or capital X. Okay. Nice. And then guess what? For the lowercase x, which you would use when you're writing the letter x and the letter x isn't the first letter in a name or when letter X comes in the middle or end of a word. You're going to write that lowercase x. By this time, doing the same thing, but you're going to start at the gate, slant down to the grass, pick up your pencil, move along the gate, and start at the gate and slant the other way to the grass. And there you go. You have your lowercase x. Let's look at them on more of the normal lines without Miss Nichols' sky and gating grass to help us, okay? Yeah. Here comes our uppercase or capital X. Start at the top line, slant down towards the bottom line. Pick up your pencil, start at the top line, slant the other way to the bottom line. There's an uppercase or capital X. Yeah, just like we're writing. And then our lowercase x again. But this time you start at the middle line, slant down to the bottom line, pick up your pencil, start in the middle line, slant the other way to the bottom line. And, oh, sorry, I don't know why my marker wouldn't show. But there you have it. You have your uppercase or capital and lowercase x. And you'll have some practice with that in your learning packet this week. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching our lesson video. Today, we've spent some time learning how the letter X makes a X sound. We've had some time listening for that X, that X sound. It's hard to say after a while. <laughs> we've also sorted words based on their ending sound. We've practiced reading words that have the letter X making the X sound in it. And reviewed how we write uppercase or capital and a lowercase x. This should help us get started on our remote learning learning packets this week and continuing to look for and find letter x making the x sound in our lives. Have a great rest of remote learning day everyone. Bye! Again, bye!